just power from God. You can't buy this power with money. It comes from God as, as a gift. Hallelujah. As the Spirit enabled them, the baptism of the Holy Spirit plunges you into the realm of the supernatural. Glory be to God. Acts 2.36 Therefore, let all Israel be assured of this. God has made this Jesus, whom you crucified, both Lord and Christ. When the people heard this, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter and the other apostles, Brothers, what shall we do? Peter replied, Great pet! And be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. The promise is for you and your children, and for all who are far off, for all who call upon the Lord our God. Hallelujah. Amen. Peter's Pentecostal sermon on the day of Pentecost adds some insights and reinforces others we have seen. The baptism with the Holy Spirit is part of a total package for the Christian. Repentance, water baptism, and the baptism with the Holy Spirit. Amen. Be baptized in water and you'll receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Now I think that when you're born again, glory be to God. You can be baptized in water. But the second thing is to be baptized in the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Once you're saved and born again. Confirming Acts, huh? that water baptism and the Holy Spirit and baptism are two different, distinct baptisms. You'll receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen? And Acts 1 4, it's a gift. You can't earn it, can you? Can't earn it. Also in Acts 1 4, it is to be received. Don't hold back, but in faith receive this blessing from God. Amen? The promise is for you and for all who are far off, for all to whom the Lord our God will. Cause God calling you today to be baptized in the Holy Spirit. As in Acts 1 4, the baptism of the Holy Spirit is a promise from God Almighty. Hallelujah. And this promise was not just for them, but also for you. Glory. For all who are far off, for all whom the Lord our God will call, glory be to God, can be baptized in the Holy Spirit. I want you to turn to. 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians. Oh, man. 14. 1 Corinthians 14, 1. If I had it, I lost it. But anyway. 1 Corinthians 14, 1. 14, 4. Oh, praise God. Anyway, Paul says, I'm glad I speak in tongues more than you all. Amen. It's nothing to be ashamed of. It's something for all Christians to receive is the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I said, what are you waiting for? If you're watching this on television, praise God. You can be baptized in the Holy Spirit. You can be baptized in your own closet, in your own house. Hallelujah. You can receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit if you're born again, serving Jesus. You that are watching this in, in, in the Middle East, glory be to God, or wherever you're at in the world today, you're hearing this on the radio, praise the Lord. John 3.3 3 says, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Now we're not looking at religions. We're not looking at denominations. But we're looking at the Word of God. Hallelujah. The total Word of God. Romans 10, 9 says, Confess with your mouth, believe in your heart, that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, that God is raising from the dead, and I shall be saved. He said, Preacher, that sounds simple. Is that all I have to? Yeah, you've got to repent of your sins. Amen? <laughs> the Bible says, All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. You've got to repent of your sins. Let me lead you in a prayer this morning. Praise God. If you're watching this or you're hearing this, no matter where you're at, just pray with me, a simple prayer. Lord Jesus, I'm a sinner. I repent, Lord, of my sins. I ask for forgiveness, Lord Jesus, for the way that I've lived my life. Lord Jesus, I do confess with my mouth and I do believe in my heart that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and that God is raising from the dead. And Lord, I ask you to come into my life as my personal Savior. Father, I thank you, Lord, 
for writing my name in the Lamb's Book of Life. And Father, I pray, God, that you would show me what to do, Lord, to further the gospel, to further the kingdom, God. Lord, I am your servant. In Jesus Christ's name I pray, amen and amen. Now, if you've done this, glory be to God. And you repented of your sins, and you've asked for forgiveness. God has come into your heart. Jesus has come into your heart as your personal Savior. Hallelujah. We are located at 13519 North Bain Street. Telephone number 751-1034. If you need prayer, give us a call. Come to a live service Sunday morning, Wednesday evening. Praise God. Sometimes we record on Wednesday night. Sometimes I'm here preaching on Wednesday night. If you need help, spiritual help, call us at 751-1034. That's area code 904-751-1034. We are a faith ministry, and we trust in God Almighty. And God bless you. Amen and amen.